Hi there. In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you through the process of how to install and activate MPC Stems, which is now available for your standalone MPC device. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is update your MPC hardware to the latest 2.15 firmware. Now, to update your device, press Menu, go to Preferences, and under Info, press Update. You can select any of the three options, online update, using MPC's inbuilt Wi-Fi, USB drive updater, or connect to your computer by manually downloading the 2.15 update for Mac, PC, and USB via our akipro.com software firmware downloads. Now, once you've updated to 2.15, head over to the activations tab. Here, you will need to log into your InMusic profile. Now, if you've already purchased MPC stems, even in controller mode, your standalone license will automatically sync with your account. Now, if you're new to MPC stems, head over to Akai Pro forward slash stems to purchase a license. Now, let's press refresh, and now we're going to press activate. Now, once stems is finished activating, we need to set a location where we're going to download the STEMS algorithm. Now, I recommend you use the same external library where you store your MPC plugins. So now that I've set my destination, press the download tab and you'll see STEMS downloading. Now, once this is completed, you're now ready to use STEMS fully standalone. So let's go to menu, sample edit. Let's just select a sample and now you'll see the STEMS tab on the sample edit screen. And here, you can now enjoy this incredible new feature, fully standalone in your MPC. Now to learn more about MPC stems, head over to Akai Pro forward slash stems and watch some of the amazing video cookups that we've done with Marco Polo, Ski Beats, and many more producers coming. Thanks for watching, I'm Andy Mack, and I'll see you soon.